Imagine a world where AI isn't just smarter than us, it's in control. The singularity isn't a distant dream anymore, it's a fast approaching reality. But what happens next? Will we thrive in a utopia of limitless potential or become obsolete in a machine dominated future? When the war started, they protected me. Took better care of me than humans would have. They're not people, Maya. It's just programming. Because we'll be able to, based actually on, on this chart, uh, and also the increase in the ability of software to also expand, uh, we'll be able to multiply our intelligence a million fold. I obviously don't think we shipped an AGI, but I get the point and the world is continuing on. Thing, I think there's like a bunch of interesting lessons from COVID and the UFO videos and a whole bunch of other stuff yeah. that we can talk to there. Expert predictions. How close are we to the AI singularity? Ray Kurzweil, a prominent futurist and Google's director of engineering, has long predicted that AI will match human intelligence by 2029, with the singularity occurring by 2045. He envisions a future where humans and machines merge, potentially extending our lifespans and revolutionizing medicine. Though he acknowledges the risks, he believes the benefits will ultimately outweigh them. Because we'll be able to, based actually on, on this chart, uh, and also the increase in the ability of software to also expand, uh, we'll be able to multiply our intelligence a million fold. Uh, and we'll be able to put that inside of our brain. It would be just like it's part of our brain. Sam Altman has recently adjusted his views. He once emphasized the transformative power of Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, but now suggests that AGI's impact might not be as world-altering as previously anticipated. <laughs> Someone said to me over the weekend, you shipped an AGI and I somehow like am just going about my daily life and I'm not that impressed. <laughs> and I obviously don't think we shipped an AGI, um, but I get the point and the world is continuing on. When you build, or somebody builds an artificial general intelligence, would that be fast or slow? Would we know it's happening or not? Would we go about our day on the weekend or not? So I'll come back to the would we go about our day or not thing. I think there's like a bunch of interesting lessons from COVID and the UFO videos and a whole bunch of other stuff yeah. that we can talk to there. Yeah. But on the takeoff question, if we imagine a two by two matrix of short timelines till AGI starts, long timelines till AGI starts, slow takeoff, fast takeoff. Do you have an instinct on what do you think the safest quadrant would be? So uh, the different options are like Sl next year. Yeah. Say so the takeoff that we start the takeoff period. Yep. Next year or in 20 years, 20 years. And, and then it takes one year or 10 years. This shift highlights how our understanding of AI's role in society is evolving as technology progresses. A recent survey of AI researchers shows mixed predictions. Some think the singularity could arrive by 2030, while others project it could be decades away. These differing views reflect the uncertainty that surrounds the timeline and the unpredictable nature of AI's evolution. Idealistic Prospects AI has already begun outperforming humans in areas like medical imaging. For example, AI systems are now diagnosing diseases such as cancer with greater accuracy than doctors. They would never have found it, and in all likelihood, I would not be here talking with you today. This could lead to faster diagnoses, better treatments, and even cures for diseases that were once thought incurable. Get to the point where we have uh, longevity escape velocity in good shape. Uh, I take maybe 80 pills a day and wow. some uh, injections and so on. It's not that far off. If you're diligent, I think we'll get there by 2029. And that's not all. Imagine AI-powered tutors offering personalized learning experiences that adapt to each student's pace and learning style. This could democratize education, making it accessible to all, regardless of location or socioeconomic status. Help the students who don't have access to private tutors. So right after ChatGPT had come out, one of the things that the UAE really wanted to do was not just regulate like most countries in the world are doing, but really innovate. 
We're very excited about the AI Tutor project, where it can make sure learning happens anywhere and everywhere, provided to students of the country for completely free. AI could help solve major global issues, such as poverty, resource scarcity, and climate change. AI could help us tackle these problems in ways never before possible. Catastrophic dangers need for UBI. As AI becomes more intelligent, ensuring that it operates within ethical boundaries becomes increasingly complex. If AI develops its own goals, they may not align with human values, leading to potentially catastrophic outcomes. Secondly, the rise of AI could lead to widespread job displacement, especially in sectors like manufacturing, customer service, and transportation. This could exacerbate income inequality, requiring governments to step in with policies like Universal Basic Income UBI, to support displaced workers. As AI takes over decision-making, humans may lose their ability to control their own futures. This could lead to a world where we are mere passengers in a reality run by machines. Human AI Integration Another possibility is that humans and AI could merge. Advances in brain-machine interfaces could enable humans to enhance their cognitive abilities, leading to even more unprecedented innovations. This integration raises profound ethical and philosophical questions about identity and consciousness. Would we lose our sense of individuality if our brains were augmented by machines? This could also lead to a new social divide, with a class of enhanced humans and a class of non-enhanced humans, raising concerns about inequality and access economic and social implications. While AI has the potential to create an era of abundance, many traditional jobs could disappear, forcing society to rethink how we work and what roles humans will play in a future dominated by machines. As AI becomes more involved in public safety and surveillance, questions about personal privacy will intensify. How do we balance security and freedom in an AI-driven society? Governance and control. One of the most critical issues in a post-singularity world is ensuring that AI operates ethically. Developing safety protocols, transparency, and global governance structures will be essential to prevent AI from being misused or developing harmful agendas. International cooperation will be necessary to regulate AI development. Countries will need to work together on ethical standards, research protocols, and laws to ensure that AI benefits all of humanity. Life after the AI singularity. But as machines make more decisions for us, the question arises, will we retain control of our own lives or will we become passengers in a world run by AI? As many jobs are automated, humans will need to adapt. Education systems will shift toward teaching skills that AI can't replicate, creativity, emotional intelligence, and critical thinking. This could lead to a new era of human-AI collaboration, but it also raises the possibility of societal divisions between those who embrace these changes and those left behind. The central challenge of a post-singularity world will be finding balance. AI's potential to improve human life is vast, but so are the risks. How will we ensure that AI serves our best interests and doesn't diverge from human values? The future of AI and the singularity is both thrilling and uncertain. Will it lead us into a new era of prosperity, or will we struggle to keep control over the intelligence we create? Experts hold different views, but one thing is undeniable. Superintelligent AI has the power to transform every aspect of our lives, for better or worse.